Hi guys and welcome to the Android Tutorial YouTube channel. Today we're going to check out Google Maps in Android Auto, which as you know, it's basically a head unit that is compatible with a version of Android tailored for cars. So if I click here on Maps, this is the view that is going to tell me. Basically, you need to have um, LTE or have the maps downloaded in order for this to work. It's, it tells me that my battery is 100%, that it's 8.59 a.m., that I'm able to search with a keyboard or through voice. This is the map, so I'm able to scroll from one side to the other, and perhaps I'm able to check where I need to go or press on a map in order to go there. I'm going to go, so as you can see. Okay, so names are in Spanish, but you could see that it does do the translation. Obviously, here, like the street would be in English. You wouldn't have to do that awkward translation. But anyway, it tells you that you are three, me uh, three minutes from your destination that it's approximately 850 meters and there you're, you're gonna be arriving at 9.03 a.m. You're able also to click here and it will display your journey, share your journey. Let's see, who do you wanna sh share your journey with? So you can see it here. Also, you got destinations, which doesn't, I don't know why it's there. It's not that convenient for me. Um, you're able to show routes so in case that there were would be more than one route like there is here a 50 meter detour you're able to go with the other route and you got route options too for example this one you're able to avoid highways avoid tolls and avoid ferries so I don't want to do any of those you can go back and once again go here and you search long routes, a gas station, a restaurant, a grocery store, a coffee shop, and those are the options you don't can't scroll anymore. So other than that, you're able to delete here and you're able to go back and stop navigation all at once. You're also able to mute and unmute those are the only options that you got and last but not least you're able to zoom in and zoom out and these the options to search is quite interesting first of all you got the keyboard so you're able to place for example yep that's the main mall the closest one here so it's searching for directions and looking so you see that the shopping mall is 4.5 stars that it's 13 minutes from here and 7.6 kilometers it opens at 10 a.m. so it's not gonna be open by the time I arrive um, but I'm still able to go head northeast toward Calle Pajarita then slight left at Calle Pajarita Okay, so you could see there the directions that I'm taking. Looks quite good. Okay, last but not least is how you search it by voice. Walmart. Okay, so you could see that. There's a Walmart, 25, 16, 24 minutes from here. So I'm able to click the one I like and basically it'll drive me there. So quite easy, very convenient. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing more videos about Android Auto applications. So everyone's aware of what they can do. It's quite convenient. It's Android Auto on your car. Very slight version, customized version of Google Maps and it really does work great. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.